Hi, my name is Amy Kotman. I'm the National Training Manager with Sony. And what we have here is one of our newest cameras in the line. This is the NEX5. And what's special about this is it really takes the best aspects of a digital SLR and the best aspects of a point and shoot and combines them all into one. You know, the most impressive thing that you're going to find is the sensor in this camera. And if I take the lens off here, it is a removable lens system. That sensor is the exact same size as the sensor we use in a digital SLR. So you get the depth of field, you get the picture quality, you get outstanding low light performance of a DSLR, but obviously in a very small and compact camera. It comes in two configurations. You can get it either with a 16 millimeter f2.8 lens or the lens that's on here right now, an 18 to 55 zoom optically stabilized lens. Using the camera is as simple as using your point and shoot. Turn it on, you get a nice big LCD screen on the back. Give us something a little more exciting to look at here. Uh, it's an articulating LCD screen, so instead of the screen just always being folded flat into the camera, it actually folds up and around so I can do overhead or low angle shots with ease. I capture 14 megapixel stills here. I can capture those at up to 7 frames per second, maximum resolution. And I can also shoot high definition video. The NEX5 shoots full ABC HD 1920 by 1080 high definition video. So the same as what your high definition uh, Handycam camcorder will record. So it's really the ultimate kind of two-in-one tool. The menu system is very easy to use. We've got three soft buttons on the back. Very simple, intuitive user interface. We've built some of the uh, manual, if you will, into the camera. So if you're too lazy to read or you don't want to read the manual, as you hover over options, it'll tell you what each of those settings will do for you. So it really is perfect for that first time camera user who you know, maybe not f is familiar with all the terms, but knows what they want to do with the camera. So I can go into shoot mode here, and I get my usual settings, manual shutter speed, aperture, full manual control, uh, sweet panorama is kind of one of our unique functions where the camera will capture a bunch of consecutive shots and automatically stitch them together into a fabulous panoramic image. And we also now feature on the NEX3 and 5, the little brother is the 3, uh, the ability to shoot full 3D images. I can capture not only a 2D image, but maybe I have a 3D TV and I want to capture 3D as well. The camera's fully capable of that. So all with one single lens on the camera. So how do we capture a 3D image with just a single lens on the camera? Uh, we do it the same way essentially that we capture panoramic images. Basically, as you sweep the camera across the frame, it's capturing two individual images at the same time. After I finish my sweep, it stitches them together, combines them into that single 3D image that looks incredibly beautiful on your 3D TV. Shooting a 3D image is as simple as changing your shooting mode on the camera. I'm going to slide down to 3D sweep panorama. And all I do is follow the on-screen directions. Push the shutter button and pan the camera in the direction of the arrow. So I am going to start over here in our little balloon area point. It's going to take a second for it to process. Now what you're seeing here, and I stopped it a little bit early so we didn't see all the crowds on the side, hence the gray bar, um, is you're seeing a 2D image. But the camera actually does have a 3D image saved in here as well, and obviously on a 2D system you're not going to see it, but when connected to a TV with an HDMI cable, you see the little 3D logo up there, kind of in the upper left hand corner, that lets me know this is a 3D image and I can play it back in 3D. But I also have a 2D image to go along with it, so I get really, like I said, the best of both worlds. This is the NEX5, uh, available, like I said, either with a 16mm f2.8 lens or the 18 to 55 zoom lens for 649 and 699 respectively. What you're looking at here is the new DSC WX5. Uh, w for wide angle, it features a 24 millimeter wide angle lens with a five times optical zoom. It also features a great f2.4, so very fast aperture lens, so it's perfect for low light, makes it one of my favorite cameras. Can shoot not only high quality stills at 12 megapixel, 
features our exclusive Exmor R sensor for incredible low light performance and full AVC HD 1920 by 1080 video. I'm going to flip it around here and on the back you'll see the nice big screen. You'll see the sweet panorama mode and also the ability, once again, kind of a big deal this year, to shoot 3D images as well. Now this one can actually shoot two different kinds of 3D images. My regular 3D sweet panorama, so I'll get a 2D to print and a 3D to view on my 3D TV. Or I also get the option to shoot uh, something called sweep multi-angle. So if you don't have a 3D TV yet, I can choose the sweep multi-angle mode, still capture the image the exact same way. I'm just going to point it and sweep it across the scene. So just that simple point and sweep motion captures the image. Somebody may look familiar in these images. I choose tilting playback option. So it's almost like I'm, mov I'm moving around here. So until you get your 3D TV, you can kind of view your simulated 3D images right on the back of the camera. When you're shooting images, there's a pair of motion sensors in there, one for horizontal and one for vertical movement, to detect how the camera is moving and correct accordingly. In playback mode, we use those to determine how the camera is moving and how to adjust the image that you're playing back on the LCD screen. DSC WX5 camera, uh, brand new, just started shipping a few weeks ago. And kind of a cool feature for a small camera, it does have an HDMI output. So you can plug a mini HDMI cable into the side here and plug right into your high def TV. So perfect for playing back those 3D images, your 2D images, your high def video, whatever you shoot, plug it right into your TV for quick and easy access.